Hello there. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Agla Save. Today we will be writing back to our religions, technological developments and many more things. Yes, today we will be covering the questions and answers of history class 7 of chapter 1, which is tracing changes through a thousand years. Let's get started. Question 1 says, who was considered a foreigner in the past? We all know there has been a considerable change in the language and in the meaning of the words used in history and modern times take for example in the meaning of uh, foreigners earlier it is considered as a person who is different from a particular group of society or culture and it may be for a person living in a city and someone living in a forest might be considered as a foreigner but today it is entirely different right anyone who is not an indian is considered as a foreigner so now let's move forward to our next exercise which is true or false coming back to our first question which is we do not find inscriptions for the periods after 700 no false we do find second the marathas asserted their political importance during this period true absolutely coming to the c point which is forest dwellers were sometimes pushed out of their lands with the spread of agricultural settlements absolutely true it was a huge issue over that time Point D Sultan Ghaziuddin Balban controlled Assam, Manipur and Kashmir. False, he didn't. Okay, after this let's give answer to some missing blanks. Let's do some filling the blanks. Point A Archives are places dash are kept. Dash is manuscripts. Archives are the places where manuscripts are kept. Point B Dash was a 14th century chronicler. The answer is Jayauddin Barani. Coming back to point C, dash was some of the new crops introduced into the subcontinent during this period. So the new crops were potatoes, corn, chilies, tea and coffee. Coming back to the question and answers, here question says, list some of the technological changes that are associated with this period. But for this we firstly need to understand what is this period by this period in the question it is referring back to the period from 700 to 1750 it was a huge challenge to historians as there were a large variety of technological changes and developments that occurred during this period there was an invention of irrigation wheel the spinning wheel used in weaving and apart from the technologies there were new food and beverages that came in the picture too like potatoes tea coffee etc overall we may say this was a period of economic social and cultural changes okay so after the technological changes let's know about some religious development which brings us to a next question which says what were some of the major religious developments during this period okay so this period witnessed some of the major religious development with the introduction of one hinduism second construction of temples third knowledge of sanskrit and the growing importance of brahmans this period also leads to the emergence of idea bhakti bhakti is a direct source to get connected with god without the help of a priest and also with the introduction of quran and islam we all know what hindustan means right but do you exactly know what it means back to the in the period of history let's check this out so the next question is in what ways has the meaning of the term hindustan changed over the centuries so answer is with time its meaning has been changed significantly it meant earlier in the 30th century it meant the areas of punjab haryana and the lands between ganga and yamuna basically lands under delhi sultan but in the 16th century it was used to describe the geography the fauna and the culture okay uh, moving forward to the next question caste and religion all over but ever wondered where the affair of jatis regulated let me tell you the affairs of jatis were regulated by an assembly of elders also known as the jati panchayat 
in some of the prominent areas right so let's move forward to our next question which is what does the term pan regional empire mean just like pan india that is all over india the pan regional empire also means an empire which is stretched over many regions for example the mughal empire the next question is what are the difficulties historian face in using manuscripts before moving to the answer do you know what is manuscripts okay let me tell you they are the books or the documents related to music arts and anything which are written by hand and not typed or printed now to the answer what happens in earlier time there were no printing machines and people used to write and copy the manuscripts with hands so with copying the text there is always a slight change either in a word or a sentence so now the historians who read manuscript face a lot of difficulties because firstly they are handwritten and small secondly there is a huge difference between the two manuscripts of the same text so historians has to read the various version of the same manuscripts to understand what the author actually had written and wants to convey moving to the next question which is how do historians divide the past into periods do they face any problem in doing so let's check the answer for it understand this thing historians do not divide the past into small measures like time hours days but historians divide the past into periods on the basis of cultural and social factors for example in the 19th century the british historians divide the history of india into three, three periods hindu muslim and british in doing so they face two problems first economic and social changes keep taking place and hence definite boundaries cannot be drawn and second these periods are compared with modernity and we all know modernity gives a sense of progress this implies that there were no progress before but which is not true that's all for today i hope you all have understood how the names castes religion and inventions have changed and emerged and in case if you have any doubts in any of the question discussed in the video do reach us by posting your queries in the comment section below thank you for being with us Bye.